Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Implant Peels. Today we talk about dental extraction using magnetodynamic technology, immediate implant, narrow ridge management and socket preservation. We are in the lower mandible right side elements 4.7, 4.6 and 4.5 where the patient needs an implant supported rehabilitation. I started with the 4.6 bone side where I had to deal with a really narrow ridge as we can see uh, from the initial CBCT. So the chosen approach was to insert the implant using only the starting drill followed by the bone screw expanders to achieve primary stability of the implant without wasting the pre-existing bone as we can see in these images before inserting the buckle graft. At the 4.7 site after the conservative extraction using magnetodynamics technology to preserve the native bone structure and the septum I inserted the implant and I filled the gap with biomaterials. But the very interesting site to talk about is the premolar, number 4.5, that is rotated as you can see by the image and with a real thin cortical plate associated to, the, to thin biotype. So an immediate implant could be very risky for the reason why the bundle bone resort during the healing period with no space for grafting if we want to go flapless. So I decided to go for a delayed implant using the partial extraction therapy for the socket preservation inserting only collagen sponges inside. And this is the post-operative panoramic X-ray. After five months and after the lockdown period, this is the image of the clinical crestal ridge where I seems, it seems to be maintained the original crestal width, as we can see in the image. And the magic of this technique is shown by the CBCT where from the initial situation to the healing at 5 months we didn't lose any width of our ridge and inside we can recognize the new bone formation. When I opened the flap with papilla preservation incisions this is what I found it. Good native bone to insert my implant with optimal primary stability inserting at 1 mm subcrestal considering 3 mm of vertical soft tissue thickness. And this is very important to allow the proper space for the prosthetic components and the soft tissue stabilization. At the same time, I had the possibility to change the narrow in initial healing abutments with larger new ones to have a better emergency profile for the molars at 4.6 and 4.7 sites after checking the OS integration. This is the final suture and the new healing abutments and the post-operative panoramic X-ray of the patient. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture and see you all the next pills. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.